Have you ever heard of your mother jokes? They're a last trend that has recently been revived ironically, just like so many others. The concept of a yo mama joke is quite simple. You make a quip about someone's mother being insert negative thing here, and that's it. You're funny now. Of course, the most common and most iconic type of yo mama joke is yo mama so fat, insert random thing to prove the statement. Because, you know, we humans are just so respectful of each other as a species. Anyway, over the years, people have gotten more and more creative with these quips, pushing the boundaries of comedy over and over again, and establishing the existence of ridiculously wide hypothetical mothers. But the only question is, just how ridiculous? Well, I think I have an answer to that. My friend who wished to remain anonymous recently came up with the ultimate Yo Mama So Fat joke, and he presented it in all his glory to me on Discord. Your mother is so fat that to prevent her from smothering the universe, God himself had to make her 100 duo decillion times denser than a black hole, and she still altered the orbits of the planets in the solar system. And then I wondered, in this absurd comedic scenario, just how wide would this hypothetical mother, of whom I will name Colossamom for all intents and purposes, actually be prior to being made ridiculously dense. I decided to take it upon myself to mathematically analyze and calculate the diameter of possibly the most tremendously large mother of all time. Truly, this will be a benchmark of human history, and my findings will benefit people so much that they'll forget to thank me. So without further ado, it is time for me to begin. First off, my friend's message depicts a scenario in which a couple key pieces of information are known. 1. Colossomom has a density, 100 duodecillion times as much as that of a black hole, an object which is already incredibly dense. 2. Colossomom has a mass significant enough to alter the orbits of the planets in our solar system. However, there is information left out of this statement that must be known for the diameter of Colossomom to be calculated, that being her size and her condensed form, in which she is condensed 100 duodecillion times more than an average black hole. If we know that information, we can use it to find out how wide Colossomom is in her actual form, how wide she was before God condensed her in the first place. The easiest method we can use to calculate the size of Colossomom in her condensed form is by finding her volume through the d equals m slash v equation, which means density equals mass divided by volume. Once we calculate the values of both Colossomom's density and her mass, we can plug those into the equation and find the volume that way. From there, we can use a volume to diameter calculator online to determine just how wide Colossomom is in her condensed form, a value which can then be used to determine how wide she is in her regular, uncondensed form. We will have to pretend Colossomom is shaped like a sphere so the math doesn't become insanely complicated, but besides that, the calculations shouldn't be too difficult. The first value we need to find to plug into the d equals m slash v equation is Colossomom's density, which we already have a specified value for. In her condensed form, she is 100 duodecillion times more dense than a black hole. The density of an average black hole is roughly 2 quadrillion grams per cubic centimeter. That is as much as 2 billion metric tons of mass condensed into a single cubic centimeter. However, we now have to multiply those 2 billion tons by 100 duodecillion, since it is claimed that Colossomom has a density 100 duodecillion times that of an average black hole. After the multiplication, it turns out that Colossomom's density is a staggering 200 quindecillion tons per cubic centimeter. Plugging this into the equation, we now have 200 quindecillion equals m slash v. The next step is to find Colossomom's mass. Unfortunately, it is not specified just how much mass Colossomom has, and the statement implying she has enough to alter the orbits of the plants in our solar system is fundamentally flawed. Technically, any object has its own gravitational pull on everything else, whether the pull is significant or not. As such, no matter how much mass Colossomom has, she would still theoretically alter the orbits of the planets in the solar system, even if it was to a minuscule degree. Because of this, we need to interpret the conditions of this scenario a little subjectively and assume that Colossomom's mass is enough to cause a significant impact. For our intents and purposes, I will say her mass is equivalent to that of an average black hole, or three solar masses, as an average black hole is the same basis upon which we calculated her density earlier. Three solar masses is equivalent to 5 octillion, 967 septillion tons. So now our equation looks like this. A density of 200 quindecillion tons per cubic centimeter equals 5 octillion 967 septillion tons of mass divided by the volume. With the values of density and mass established, we can find the volume. If we rearrange the equation d equals m slash v, we get dv equals m and then m slash d equals v, in which volume is on its own. Therefore, the equation becomes 5 octillion 967 septillion tons divided by 200 quindecillion tons per cubic centimeter equals volume. This means that the volume of Colossomom's condensed form in cubic centimeters is a staggeringly low number of 0 0.0000000, you know, I'm not even gonna, you know what, just a ton of zeros and then 2983. 
Running that number through a volume to diameter calculator, it is revealed that the diameter of Colossomom in her condensed form is 0 0.0000038478506868 centimeters. To give you an idea of just how thin such a diameter is, it's just under the length of four atoms in a row. But Posey, you cry out in protest, wasn't this supposed to be a video about how Colossomom is incredibly wide, not incredibly narrow? And to that I respond, yes, for we still have yet to calculate the diameter of Colossomom in her uncondensed form, her diameter from before God increased her density to a ridiculous amount. As has been established before, the density of Colossomom's condensed form is 200 quindecillion tons per cubic centimeter, which is equivalent to 200 septendecillion grams per cubic centimeter. In her uncondensed form, Colossomom would of course have the density of an average human being, because presumably she is someone's mother. The density of an average human body is 983 grams per cubic meter, which is equivalent to 9.85 grams per cubic centimeter. As such, we need to divide 200 septendecillion by 9.85 and multiply that number by the previously established diameter of Colossomom's condensed form to find out how many centimeters in diameter her uncondensed form would be. 200 septendecillion divided by 9.85 is, well, this number I refuse to bother pronouncing. I'll just round it down to 20 septendecillion to make things easier, and I'll round the rest of the numbers from now on too. Anyway, 20 septendecillion multiplied by that number, centimeters, equals roughly, 770 I don't even know how to pronounce this word. 770 quatuordecillion? I'll just go with that. That is how many centimeters Colossomom's uncondensed form is in diameter. Of course, this is an incomprehensibly large number, so let's up the measurement units in order to lower it. 770 quator. You know what? I'm, I'm just not going to bother pronouncing that. Good. I'm done. Okay, I'm not pronouncing that. Just 770 big number centimeters would be the same as 7.70 big number kilometers. Although that is, of course, still insane. There are approximately 9.5 trillion kilometers in a light year, and 7.70 that big number divided by 7.5 trillion is about 810 nonillion. Yes, that's Colossomom's diameter in light years. To draw a comparison, the entire Milky Way galaxy is roughly 100,000 light years across, and 810 nonillion divided by 100,000 is 8.1 octillion, meaning the diameter of Colossomom is 8.1 octillion times that of the Milky Way. But we can go even further. The diameter of the observable universe is believed to be 93 billion light years. For our intents and purposes, let's just say the observable universe serves as the entire universe in this scenario, since there's very little known about what's beyond. If we divide 810 nonillion light years, which is the diameter of Colossomom, by 93 billion light years, which is the diameter of the universe, the result is 8.71 sextillion. That implies that Colossomom is 8.71 sextillion times wider than the universe itself. That's a billion times a billion times about 90,000. That's how many universes wide Colossomom is. If you still can't grasp this insane diameter, here's more information. If one of these universes was the size of only a single atom, 0.1 nanometers, Colossomom would still be roughly 870 million kilometers across relative to that universe, which isn't anywhere close to a light year, but is almost 60 astronomical units. Take a look at this visual I made in Universe Sandbox. This tennis ball here represents the size of Colossomom if the universe itself was only the size of a single atom. Speaking of universe sandbox, if I am to give a tennis ball the actual diameter of Colossomom relative to us, which is again, 810 nanillion light years, it straight up just disappears because the game can't handle a value that large. And if the game could handle it, it would likely take ages of scrolling for me to even be able to see the tennis ball. I can't stress enough how insane these values are. If you were to fly from one end of Colossomom to the other in a spaceship traveling at the speed of light, it would take you 810 nanillion years to do it. Suppose you're ageless because otherwise you would have died somewhere around 0.0000000000000 bunch of zero. 9% of the way through the journey if you started from birth. Now imagine that you're in a race with someone trying to travel from one end of the Milky Way to the other in a spaceship traveling only one millimeter every year. Your opponent would have reached the end of the Milky Way at this incredibly slow speed by the time you've reached 0.0000001% of Colossomom's diameter at the fastest speed possible. With all that established, you may wonder, what's my conclusion? Well, to put it simply, God was wise to condense Colossomom, for not only would she have smothered the universe, she would have smothered quintillions of universes. Colossomom's very existence is a threat to our existence, the very plane of reality we inhabit, among so many others. My friend has created the most terrifying hypothetical being of all, and by far the widest mother ever conceptually conceived by the minds of humanity. Everything would pale in comparison to Colossomom if she was real. We would be nothing. Even if there existed a multiverse, it would be but a flea on her skin. 
Nothing imaginable could ever compare to the impossible and staggering size of Colossomom. So there you have it, folks. The most ludicrous Yo Mama joke of all time. Now you may click off the video and sleep peacefully at night, relieved to know that Colossomom exists only in our imaginations. At least, so far as we know. Peace out, everyone.